Recently at the Maxwell Football Club Awards, college stars like Faker Mayfield and Minka Fitzpatrick stole the spotlight. But another player was in the background, and soon he could be playing on Sundays as well. Justin Watson from the University of Pennsylvania was the Brian Westbrook Tri-State Player of the Year. All he did was to rewrite receiving records in the Ivy League. Watson set Ivy League records with receptions in 40 consecutive games. He had 10 straight games with a touchdown catch and three 1,000-yard seasons. Then he had great showings in the Senior Bowl and the East-West Shrine game. Both those games were awesome. Uh, you know, I went through the East-West Shrine game, had a couple, couple good days of practice, and then uh, you know, Friday, the day before the East-West Shrine game, I got a call saying, hey, you're getting invited to the Senior Bowl. So I, I played Saturday, hopped on a plane Sunday, and uh, you know, was in Mobile, Alabama. And like I said, it was cool. Um, you're playing two weeks of football and you're getting to go against uh, you know, those 1A you know, level defensive backs that uh, you know, I've been itching to go against for, for four years now. It looks like you're going to be on a draft board. Mm -hmm. If not, it's the free agent route, but does it make a difference if you're just looking for a spot, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what they talk about all the time. It's not about where you start, it's about where you finish. And uh, I think you look at the Super Bowl this year, and I think there's a record number of uh, free agents that were playing in the Super Bowl. So for me, I just need a chance. You know, I just want to get into camp, and you know, once uh, everyone puts those pads on the field, it doesn't matter if you came in as a first-round pick or a guy that picked up on free agency. It's just all about you know, making that active roster. Watson has a pro day coming up this week, and if things go well, you might hear his name being called at the NFL Draft. In Philadelphia, I'm Mick Monninghoff.